What's good? What's up? What's up? What's going on, everybody? Happy, happy Sunday. I hope everybody is doing blissful today on this beautiful Sunday. This is your your girl, Isis Love. Just chilling out, you guys. I just really um, relaxed over the weekend. Um, I've been really, really tired. And it's because the uh, increase in uh, energy that we have... Um, you know, due to this planetary shift, what's going on? What's going on, Miss Shanti Gumbo Toya? What's going on, y'all? So, um, I'm basically just gonna share my experience today and uh, just give people a little bit of the know-how of this this portal coming up, this energy. A lot of people have been feeling really tired, you know, headaches, um, having crazy type of dreams. You know, we're all connected, so I kind of wanted to share my experience on that and see who else has been going through the same thing. Peace, peace, what's going on? What's going on, fam? How are you doing? So before we get into this topic of this 888 portal, you know, opening up and then taking advantage of this energy, um, I just want to say thank each and every one of you for joining this live right here, right now, today. Um, it's no coincidence that you came on this live feed today to get this to get this message. So thank you for joining in. If you're watching this live, just comment live. Let me know where you um watching this from. And if you're watching it on a replay, you know, just comment replay and uh, let me know where you're watching it from. So um, we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. So um. I don't know if anybody knows, but uh, August 8th, coming up in a couple of days, right? August 8th, on the 8th, I mean, August 8th, which is August is the 8th month, on the 8th, 2008, right? So that is what you call some really numerology lineup, right? And so what happens on this day is, you know, the planet of Sagittarius and uh, Sirius comes into alignment, and then the sun moves into um, Libra. The lion, the Leo. And so um, it's a very great time to get into the hot heart chakra. You know, really get down into that heart chakra because the energies that are coming down on this planet, like everybody's been feeling this shift. Let me see. Hold on. Can y'all hear me now? Because I'm sitting there going, I can't hear you. Can the sound go muted? We can't hear nothing? Really? Wait a minute. So y'all can't hear, can't hear me, right? No sound. Check your sound. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. My sound is on. That's weird. It's good now? So y'all can hear me now? There you go. Okay, cool. I was going in. Okay, thank you, fam. Thank you. So I don't know which part I left out on, but I was, um, okay, cool. I was basically just talking about, you know, who has been going through the symptoms and, you know, feeling really, really tired, feeling really tired, um, you know, so your appetite has changed, you've been feeling ringing in your ears, um, I know I've been extremely tired, right, like really tired, so what happens is when these light poles come down on the planet, you know, it's a lot because our, our energy is changing, 
you know, we're getting more to a high vibrational state. And so when these energies are coming down, they do play with purging, you know, because we're opening up our heart chakra. So it's a really good time to, A, you know, release those things that don't serve you, literally. Like, um, you know, re releasing the things that, you know, don't, don't serve you, not making you feel, making you feel good at all. Wait a minute, you can't, you still can't hear me? Okay, I see somebody said they can't hear me. Wait a minute, I don't know what's going on. The energy is high. Let me see, because I'm about to go in, and I got to make sure y'all can hear this. Okay, so let me see. Okay, cool. So, um, I don't know if you can hear me or not. I'm going to wait for a reply, but, um, yeah, so this is a very good time to really just get into the heart and um, really see where you need to love yourself more. You know, where in your life. Okay, something wrong with their phone. Okay, so where in your life do you need to love yourself more? You know, do you need to tell yourself more, you know, how beautiful you are or love your body more? Or um, do you need to get out of a relationship that's not serving you? Like, um, you know, those are things or those are areas where you need to love yourself more. So when this energy comes through this planet, you're able to absorb it all. Because if you're kind of like stopped up, let's just say stopped up like the toilet, you know, I'm, the energy is going to have a hard time passing through. But see it like this. It's kind of like the earth is giving birth, right? It's like the earth is giving birth to a new planet and we're giving birth. So that's why we're feeling like tired and really hungry or not hungry or sleeping a lot or ringing in the ear. You know, we're giving birth to a new us. Literally, the old ways of thinking can no longer operate in this new dimension, the fifth dimension. It's always there, but you have to vibrate on a certain type of type of frequency to even be able to enter and exit out those those different dimensions consciously, you know? And so some of these old programs as far as like how school is ran, you know, this patriarchal society um you know also just you know the way the financial industry is ran um you know certain little things those are it's old programming in this in this matrix this matrix is really a series of codes so when this energy comes down you want to definitely make sure that you're clear if you can fast do a detox you know only fruit um only vegetables which vegetables are fruit so if you want to do only fruit, if you want to do just water, if you want to do a smoothie, whatever you, it fits your preference, right? Just make sure that you get as clean and as clear as possible and meditate because you want to really be in, in, in attunement when this energy comes down, you know? This is straight heart chakra, you guys. And the only way for us to move forward as a community and to help humanity, we have to get that heart, right? And so, you know, it really starts from, you know, not judging ourselves because also when you think about the line, you also think about royalty. You know, I always tell you guys, we are royal. And so now is the time and energy to step inside of your royal nature. It's time to really claim that. If you royal, claim it. You're not acting royal. You know what I'm saying? Being royal is a mindset. Know that you are already royal, baby. And so that type of energy is coming through to remind you, you know, of your various of different lives that you have came down on this planet and did. What we are doing now is setting ourselves up from the next time we come down in this planet, right? So what you're doing today is going to affect you, you know, many generations up, right? So that's why it's so very, very, very important to claim your sovereignty. Claim your sovereignty. I don't even really think y'all even know how deep that goes. Whoa. I just got, I feel, now I understand the quote unquote Illuminati or secret societies. It's not secret societies or any type of uh, Illuminati. The information is there for us. 
You just got to align yourself with it. And the more and more you align yourself with your purpose, which we're going to talk about in a, in a minute, the more and more things just come your way because you're in a divine alignment. You're in a divine, your, your inheritance, you have a, a, you have an abundant inheritance out in the ethers. That's don't got nothing to do with cap, paper cash money. It's just energy. And so it draws on anything that you need, any person, any place. Any situation that you want, let me tell you, the more you stay in alignment with your purpose and you let go and let God, man, it's powerful. I'm only speaking through experience. Literally, that's the only way I can know is living and speaking through experience. So, you know, you are royal. That's what we forgot. We gave our power to somebody outside of us. Because if we truly knew who we were, then we wouldn't even be in the situation and what we are right now. It would, it would be no depression. It would be no having to go to work nine to five. Because we would be like, hold up. I know who I am. I know my power. Let me tell you, it, I'm going to bring it into purpose right now. Whatever you're doing in life, it should be your life's purpose. Whatever it is that you like to do, that should be your business. Right now, we're coming to the point where a lot of people are wanting to start to work for themselves. A lot of people are really getting tired of this rat race system because it's old. It's not working. It's not working. We clearly have evidence that the normal nine to five job is just not making ends meet. They say it's a secure job, but yet we're living paycheck to paycheck, you guys. So that means that this matrix is getting away from this system. And so when this energy comes on 888, you have to claim your sovereignty. You have to then really just step in your divine power because the moment you step in it and this rural energy keeps coming down because it's going to be from like the 8th to the 12th. Let me tell you, magical things will happen to you. Magical things. Because this is all spiritual, you guys. Before it's even physical. Before it's even physical, it's spiritual. Right? And so, getting your mind, body, spirit together and claiming your power together. Like, think about it, you guys. Why do we need a president? We the president of ourselves. You ever thought about that? We govern our own selves. So the minute we give somebody else permission to govern us, we're not sovereign. We're not free. So that means you're going to attract things of a slave. Because when you don't have control over your life and the master over your mind, then who is controlling it? See, slavery is not over. Slavery is not over. Slavery has nothing to do with the color of somebody's skin, okay? We are all being slaves right now. It got nothing to do with your skin. That's another old paradigm that's leaving. You know, you got to get with the times. So the more we can open our hearts, right, and really cleaning out that gunk, really getting down in those pipes, Really getting down those pipes and releasing everything that has happened to us. Because let me tell you this, right? We all can time travel. See, people think that you got to get in this little cool ship and time travel and be somewhere. But let me show you something. If you sit down right now and think about something that happened to you an hour ago, like vividly seeing it happen to you an hour ago, that's time travel. You didn't go nowhere, but your mind was able to go back and, and perceive something that has already happened, right? You just time travel. If you smell something that came from your childhood, it may take you to your kindergarten class. You just time travel, right? So whatever has happened in the past, your past experiences doesn't equal your now moment. What it does do is it teaches you lessons from those past experiences, but you're a brand new person. So, you know, really just loving yourself because you are, like I said, you are literally royal. And finding your purpose, when you find your purpose and you are in direct alignment, which you're supposed to be, you know, doing in your direct alignment, 
everything is going to line up. What is it that you like to do? Because if you're going, if you're working somewhere that you do not want to work at, you need to leave that job because by leaving the job, you're claiming your sovereignty. And then you're going to focus on what you want to do. Now, I know some people can't just leave cold turkey like that. You know what I mean? But what I am saying is build your business as you're at your job. When you're at your job, you should be building your business. Like You like to make candles, right? Find out how you can put that out there. You like to make soaps. You like to, you just, and it's natural abilities. We don't have to go to school for natural abilities. We don't need no certificate. You don't need no certificate. If you're, if you are an empath, you can use that gift to be able to, you know, sustain um, life here on this planet because money is energy. We just exchange it. So it's a great time to release the false because if you know you really don't want to work somewhere and you know you really want to build your business, then you have to do it. Take advantage of this energy because by you having faith and letting go and letting God, I'm telling y'all, like from the sincerity of my heart, from the sincerity of my heart, we are all royal. We create our realities. I've been sitting back and watching manifestation over manifestation. Things of great value I would never even think would happen are happening at a rapid pace. At a snap of a fingers. You guys, we already read people's minds. Me and my partner are constantly reading each other's minds, you guys. We are the superheroes. We are the X-Men. We have to remember, okay? We're not our situation. We're not our finances. We're not our relationships. We're not our titles. Mom, dad, sister, brother, wife, husband. We're not those titles. We're so much more. So, you know, I really challenge you to take advantage on August 8th to the 12th to really get focused on what you want. Because let me tell you, what you're doing now is it getting you where you want. Wherever you are right now in life, is it getting you to where you want to be? Is it getting you to, are you happy? Because time is the most precious element. The precious asset. And if you're not happy, what do you, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's like you're just living to what? Be sad or to be, you know, in a in a in a in a in a down roll spiral? Like, you know, no, you're royal. You're royal. There's no coincidence that you're on this call. You guys. This shift is bringing out the ancestors. It's a great time to create, uh, to connect with your past lives. And not even your past lives, because your past lives is your now lives. There's really no past, present, and future, only the now moment. And so the now moment happens on many different dimensions. So in many different dimensions, your quote-unquote past lives are your now lives. <laughs> so, you know, tap into those. I have been really tapping into my solar galactic ocean brothers and sisters and just really tapping into that that water element and you know that Syrian element and I'm having flashes of you know already being that light being because we're all the light we all have the light but you got to remember and, and tap into it you know, so, you know, connecting with your other selves, cleansing and purifying the heart, meditating, eating, eating really, you know, eating really good and just detoxing you guys. Sometimes the hardest thing that you have to do is the best thing for you at the end of the day. I'm going to say that again. The hardest thing that you like you feel like it's so hard like dang I can't do it but let me tell you once you do it once you get over that hurdle that momentum 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 is just going to kick in kick in kick in kick in 
all you want is just going to come and come. But you got to have faith. Faith is the biggest thing that we have to have. Faith. Because without faith, then you're not able to see your purpose and you're not able to carry on with your purpose because you don't have faith in it. So have faith in your business. Have faith in what you want to do. Whatever it is that you want to do, you want to become a yoga teacher, you don't need no um, no certificate. Shoot, you can go online and learn and learn how to do yoga right then and there. Each one should teach one. So really go into your mind's eye and see what it, what it is that you want to do and have faith in yourself because you can do it. It's the perfect time to do it right now, you guys. Start acquiring generational wealth right now. Seriously, you guys. I'm dead serious. When 2020 comes, you need to be sovereign. Like dead up. You dead up like the matrix is going to crack down and you got to be out of the matrix mentally because the matrix is not really so much physically as it is mentally. So you got to get yourself mentally out of the matrix. You got to claim your, 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 your sovereignty because when stuff hit the fan and you don't know who you are, you're going to remain a slave in shackles. Because you have not claimed your birthright. It gets deep, y'all. Some of the stuff I can't even talk about on live right now. Because I know they tuning in, right? But it gets deep, yo. It gets really, really deep. So, you know, just really take advantage of this energy. Like, I can't stress it enough. Take advantage of this energy. Um, Love yourself. Trust yourself. Don't judge yourself, okay? Don't judge yourself. Everything that you're doing is perfect. You're in a direct alignment with your plan. You're in direct alignment with your ancestors. Open your hearts. Let go of whatever has happened. Let go of your titles. Let go of your past experience. Let go of your expectations and let it flow. Whatever it is that you want in life, just go for it. You can do it. It's all going to fall in, 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 in alignment. Don't worry. It's going to fall into alignment. You know, there's no right or wrong. It just is. Because right or wrong can be used in different situations. You may say it's wrong to kill somebody, but let somebody pop off of one of your kids or your family members. You'll be ready to kill them, right? So then it changes, right? So there's no right or wrong. So whatever you're doing right now is the correct thing that you're supposed to be doing, right? So believe in yourself. Trust yourself. Don't judge it, all right? So this is Isis Love. I'm about to tune out, you guys. I got a team call with my uh, team, teaching them about growing money because it's so important right now to start growing your money and being sovereign okay so if anybody is interested in learning a skill a simple skill you guys learning a simple skill that will pay you out daily because it's learning a skill right that's all it is it's a skill set right so if you're interested in learning a skill set that will pay you out daily contact me because me and my team and my community are claiming our sovereignty right now, okay? It's time for us to start doing family banks. See, y'all not ready for that yet, right? I'm talking about family banking. I'm talking about pulling your money out the bank and doing a family bank. See, that's some next level stuff. That's what kind of stuff we need to be on next level stuff we need to be on forgetting forget a will we need to be getting trust you need to be claiming your paperwork so see you guys that's some elite type of mindset that's some next level we got to get on the next level level up sierra got a song called level up it's time to level up <laughs> level up level up level up level up level up 
elevate, expand your mind. Don't let it wither and die. Expand yourself. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. This is a dream, you guys. <laughs> this is assimilation. It's built like this to teach us to claim our sovereignty. This is a video game. You bit bamboozled, baby. This is not real as we think it's real. We are not as we think we are. The game has been rigged. Just learn the rules. That's it. Either you learn, learn the rules and be the master, or you, if you, or you remain a slave because you don't want to learn the rules. It's really as simple as that, you guys. That is why I strive every day to learn the rules of the matrix so that I am able to maneuver and flow through it and not let anything get in my way. Okay, you got to master money, not let money master you. Money is just positive energy. The more you tap into your heart chakra and the more you align yourself with this 888 Lionsgate portal, the more you're able to pull in your abundance because it's out there in the ethers. Trust me, it comes. It rains down. <laughs> it rains down. I'm only speaking from experience, you guys. Like, dead up. I wish I could do like a movie. But, um, hey, you guys, I got to really get out this call. I got a team meeting. I love each and every one of you. You are royal, 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 royal. Um, please share this video with the community because you definitely know that they can take some of this words and it definitely can uplift some people. So, you know, this is ISIS love, you know, meet me at the beach in the bank, you guys. Peace, love, and light. Hold on, I got to figure out how to hang this thing up, though. Peace.